All right, thanks for watching. And in today's Halloween special, I want to talk about the number 666, which is usually frowned upon, but has actually some very nice properties, which I want to talk about today. Because first of all, if you write 666 in Roman numerals, what this becomes is 500 plus 100 plus 50 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1, which then becomes DCL XVI. So almost all the Roman numerals but in order, which is probably why it's so frowned upon, because it's so beautiful, it's scary. Ah. Not only that, in terms of numbers and number theory, it has even better properties. Because 666 is what's called a triangular number. Because if you take the sum from 1 up to 36, that's a Gaussian sum, so it becomes 36 times 37 over 2, which becomes 666 if you do the algebra. And so, because 666 is the sum from 1 to up to a number, this is what's called a triangular number. But not only that, there's something even better. Because consider 36. Okay. Turns out this number is also triangular. Because if you take, I believe, the sum from 1 up to 8, well, that's 8 times 9 over 2, so 4 times 9, and that's 36. So this number itself is also triangular. So because 666 is the Gaussian sum up to a triangular number, this is what's called doubly triangular. So it's literally double the fun. Cool, huh? But it gets even better, I promise, because it has another nice property with triangular numbers. And by the way, I think because in roulette, there are numbers 1 through 36, 666 also uh, comes up with, I think, combinations of roulette or something. So that's why also in, uh, in Vegas, uh, they like the number 666. Oh, maybe that's why it's called Sin City. Who knows? OK, and then <laughs> now let's go back to this other property. Because let's look at the number 36 now. Turns out 36 is also the sum of two triangular numbers. It's 15 plus 21, because 15 is the sum from 1 up to 5, and 21 is the sum from 1 up to 6. But the question is, what does that have to do with a 666? Because what if, for some reason, you take 15 squared plus 21 squared? What you get is, well, 225 plus 441. And if you sum them up, you get 666. Wow! So there's this Pythagorean thing going on. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, uh, I, I guess number theory is cool. I don't know. I mean, this is, this is really cool, I do have to say. But so are PDs, just say. OK, not only that, so let's now talk about prime factors. And turns out also 666 has some nice properties with prime factors, because it is what's called a Smith number. Because, well, take 666 and take the sum of it. So 6 plus 6 plus 6, that is 18. Turns out 18 also kind of appears in prime factorizations because if you factorize 666, well, that becomes, I think, 2 times 3 times 3 times 37. And here's a nice thing. What happens when you take the sum of all the digits? Well, you get 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 7. So 9 plus 9, which is 18. So if the sum of the digits is equal to the sum of the prime decomposition, that's what's called a Smith number, which is, okay, it's very Smith of us, I guess. <laughs> 
All right, and not only let's not only look at prime factors, let's even look at numbers relatively prime. So remember, relative prime means they kind of have no factors in common. Like, I don't know, uh, 4 and 9, they have no factors in common. And in particular, the number of integers, integers less than 666, relatively prime to it. To 666. Well, it can be that number because you know there's at least one number less than this that's not relatively prime. But that number of integers is 216. Okay. But what does 216 have to do with that number? Abracadabra, it's 6 times 6 times 6. <laughs> I know it's a hocus pocus thing going on, but again, it gets better because mm, if you now look at twin primes, so I want to remind you twin primes are sort of not consecutive primes, but kind of sort of. So it's um, primes whose difference have to, is two, like for instance, 17, 19. They're two prime numbers, and they're just two apart. But also, I believe, 29 and 31. They're also uh, two apart. And well, we're not going to talk about the number of twin primes less than 666. But let's look at the number of twin primes okay. less than, so kind of crazy, 6 to the 6 plus 666. So the number of twin primes less than this number turns out is 666. <laughs> I know it's just every step gets more and more unbelievable. So I really don't understand the hate against that number. It has such a nice property. But <laughs> But that's what the underground would say, right? You know, I'm not evil at all. <laughs> mm. What they want to say, oh yeah, by the way, so the twin prime from conjecture, like a very easy conjecture that's actually open, it just says, well, there are infinitely many of those twin primes, but we still do not know whether this is true or not. And last but not least, maybe kind of a real life application that I want to give you. So it turns out 666 also appears in magic squares. Magic squares, speaking about magic. So what is, let's say, a 3 by 3 magic square? It's some square where you fill out the numbers 1 through 9, such that the sum of every column equals to the sum of every row. So a possible magic square would be 276, uh, 951, and 438. Then. On the one hand, let's look at all the row and column sums. So here I believe the row sum is 15, this is 15, this is 15, and so is this 15, 15, 15. And then if you sum up those column sums, you get 45. Now it turns out if now you have a 6 by 6 magic square, One, one, two, three, four, five. So if you have six by six magic square, where you fill out the numbers from one through thirty-six, turns out all those column sums are one eleven. And if you sum those up, turns out you get six six six, which is a bit cheating, or I guess an application, because what is the sum of all? Like let's say in this example, what is the sum? of all those numbers, well, it's just a sum from 1 through 9, which is 45. Well, here would be the sum from 1 through 36, which I talked about is 666, because it's a triangular number. All right, so I hope you like this spooky Halloween special. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.